Hey y'all, I'm not here on a solo backpacking trip right now. So before I get too much stuff taken out and set up, I thought I would just kind of quickly go over the things that I carry for a solo backpacking trip. As you can see, I've already got my tent set up back here. But I am carrying a few of my winter gear items as well. So I'll, I'll have more in this pack than I might normally would have uh, on a backpacking trip. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing that I take with me when I go solo backpacking is, well, really, honestly, this isn't just for solo backpacking. If I'm hiking with my husband or friends or anyone, this is pretty much all the gear I, I bring. But um, I'm, I'm kind of saying with solo backpacking so you can kind of see that everything I have to have, you know, just for myself. So the first thing is my husband and I share the MSR Hubba Hubba NX two-person tent. Sorry, I'm trying to sit on my knees. It's a two-person tent, um, so which is why it's so big. We did recently purchase the Six Moon Designs Lunar Duo Explorer tent. We just haven't had a chance to like uh, test it out and try it, you know, set it up before using it. So I'm still using the MSR, which is a, I'll just tell you, it's a great tent. We've used it for almost two years in every kind of weather condition and we've, it's, it's done really well. Um, so anyway, the first thing that I carry, and I have it here on the top of my pack because <clears throat> the tent sits at the bottom of the pack. Oh, and I guess first let me just say, so the backpack that I carry is the Six Moon Designs Fusion 50. And had this pack for a couple years now. I love this pack. Uh, it weighs in around three pounds, but it's just a really, it's been a really great pack. It's meant to be a little bit of a lighter weight version for a pack, as opposed to say like Osprey or something. Not as light as like a Z packs or, or a hyper light pack, but uh, it's so durable. And I just, I really, it's done us, uh, my husband has a 65 liter and it's just done really great for us. So on the top of my pack here, I have the Thermarest Z Light foam pad. And what I've done is this, I've actually just cut it in half. This one is actually the regular version that's been cut in half because my husband and I share it. But you could also get the shorter version. And I think it would basically eliminate one of these uh, rectangles if you wanted it a little shorter. But I like carrying this because, not only because it gives me something at camp to kind of stretch out on and like put my, spread my legs out, but in the winter months, I like to have this with me simply as a backup in case my blow up sleeping pad doesn't work or just to give me extra warmth from the cold ground. So in the winter months, I'll carry this. And a lot of times in the warmer months, I don't carry this. I'll carry the smaller Z seat version, but I've kind of gotten to where I started carrying this no matter what, because like I said, I can completely stretch my legs out and keep warm and not wet. So I really enjoy that. So anyway, let's have that. And then in the front pocket here, I have camp shoes and that for me is just a luxury item. I wear trail runners most of the time. So in some ways I probably don't necessarily need a camp shoe, but if I've hiked a lot of miles or if my feet are wet, I like to change into dry socks and I like to have something that's breathable on my feet and something I can quickly put on if I have to get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. So I have these Teva sandals and they're pretty lightweight. I actually don't know how much they weigh, but it feels like maybe a couple ounces. It's really, they're really light. Um, so these have done really well for me. I like these. And uh, so I have that. And then I also have my pack cover, which actually goes on to my, it's an Os, it goes for an Osprey 34 liter day pack. But it fits, it actually fits on this 50 liter. So I just carry this uh, since the six moon didn't come with a rain cover. And it's not waterproof. It is water resistant, but it's not waterproof. I also have a rain jacket in here. And for this trip, I actually did just bring my lightweight rain jacket instead of a, in the winter months, I'll usually carry a thicker rain jacket that actually is waterproof. Uh, whereas this, when I say it's not waterproof, I know it's a rain jacket, the irony. This is probably more like a wind jacket because you will get wet in this. But there's 0% chance of precipitation, which doesn't mean it can't still, <laughs> the weather can't still turn and rain, but it's not supposed to. So that's why I just brought this today because it just gave me a little less weight than I would normally have to carry, especially in the winter months. Then another thing I have on the outside of my pack is just a ball cap as a hat. I got this one up with the swag. I love this hat. This is my favorite one now. Anyway, I just like to have that for, you know, if I need it for whatever reason. You know, it's a hat. And then in my side pockets, I carry two one liter live waters and I have the one here 
And then the other one is actually out of the pack. It's right here. And I have a aqua clip that I use because I kind of hang it on my hip. Makes it easier to get to. And then, of course, I, you know, this one's my flavored water. So I have that in the side pockets. And then for this trip, I actually brought my Talenti ice cream gelato uh, plastic container that screws on because my breakfast in the morning is going to be carnation instant breakfast and, and cold coffee and then i can shake it up also use this if i want to cold soak my food instead of cooking it so i just brought that because it's lightweight and it's easy to use it's just convenient to carry so um, just depending on the trip whether i'll bring this or not like i said if i'm cold soaking or if i wanted to use it as a to you know a cup to, to drink out of this is just a convenient item to use and then um that is all I have in those pockets. So on the back side, or I guess actually the front side, uh, this pack has two pockets here in the front. You can see it, two pockets. And I just keep handkerchiefs in here. One is my sweat rag, just to kind of wipe myself off if I need to, or dry my feet, whatever I need it for. The other one is my pee rag. I know that sounds gross, but I carry a pee rag. And then I just have some, I have some hand sanitizer. And then of course for this trip, my daughter may be this little owl you can see it little owl so i just carried it it's cute oh, anyway and then i have a whistle just you know for protection kind of thing and then this pack at the bottom has these little pocket little actually they're really big pockets on the hip belt and inside of those i have um snack usually i'll have snacks in one side i'll have some my favorite Guilty pleasure, which is gummy gummies, and then the other pocket has a uh, tissue, my chapstick, and um, it has, has my knife. I have a pretty good sized knife to use for whatever, whatever I need protection, cut something up, you know, food, whatever. So that's what I have out on the outer part, and then on the inside of the pack. I have a trash compactor bag lining the pack just to kind of help protect it from getting wet. And I have, on this trip, I did bring my Katadin, I don't even know how you say that. I, I should know this by now, but I don't. Anyway, the one liter um, water filter. Anyway, I brought that. So sometimes I bring this, sometimes I bring the, the platypus. For this trip, I bought both. Um, just because I put this on the top of the pack, just in case I thought this might be more convenient to use than the platypus. And then I have my food bag, which is a Sea to Summit 13 liter. And this is just where I keep all of my food in. And then of course my, I just kind of, my down jacket, I just sort of throw in there. I don't really um, stuff it into anything. I just kind of, in case I need to get to it quickly, I keep it near me. And then I have my little, this is my stove, my, my cook set, and it just, this is a homemade koozie that I made for the, the pot, and the pot is, it's got, it has a lid with a little handle, and then I have inside, this is all inside of the pot, so then I have just a lighter, and then I have the MSR Pocket Rocket, it, it comes in a red plastic container, but that's too heavy, so I just put it in this felt thing, and that's just to help protect it and protect my container, and then I have the fuel canister, also in there, and I have it wrapped with a dry cloth, an REI towel. And then the cup itself is the Tokes Titanium 750 milliliter, which has like little handles here. You can see, uh, I have different sizes of the Tokes, but I really like the Tokes. Anyway, I just made this to fit, to kind of help, this helps protect the, cook, the cookware. And then I can also use the koozie to help cook my food. And then I have some paracord and a heavy carabiner. And that, in the Smokies, you really don't need this because they have bear cables and so they have the cables and the lines. But I like to carry it simply because in, sometimes the cables are broke uh, for whatever reason, they haven't been repaired or fixed. So I, I wanna make sure I have some way to hang my food bag if I needed to. So I just carry it just in case. And then I have different of sacks. And I have them in different colors, that way I can know what's what. And this here is just my, like, miscel what I call my ditty bag, just miscellaneous stuff. 
kind of, uh, I guess, I, I call it miscellaneous. Um, these stuff, stuff sacks are actually just from Walmart. I just, they're, it's like five or ten dollars for a three pack, and I'm just like, why not just get these? They're light enough. I don't think you need to spend a lot extra money on those Cuban fiber ones or anything. I just, I, I don't know. I'm gonna spend my money on something else besides that if it was me. But anyway, these of course are not waterproof, which may be a reason to get the Cuban fiber, but anyway. Anyway, so inside of these I have my trowel, which is the, it's the Tent Lab Deuce of Spades. And then I have a big wad of toilet paper. <laughs> Huge thing of toilet paper. I keep all that in um, Ziplocs. And then I have my map, you know, wherever I'm gonna be hiking, and a compass. And then I have my charging cables for my, I can't talk, for my camera and for my phone. And this glows in the dark so it's easy to find in the tent. And it has both a micro USB and the iPhone, the lightning cable on that, so connector or whatever. And then I carry an anchor battery. And just depending on the trip, whether I carry, we have like three different sizes of this. This is just the small one since I'm just doing it overnight. And I have that in this little couch my black diamond headlamp and then an extra set of batteries that's what i have in there and then i have my um this is my tool tree bag and this was actually just a bag that was from one of our old sleeping pads and then in this i have my first aid kit which is you can see it's pretty tiny but it has everything i have my toothbrush my toothpaste and then i have my the toothbrush i have you can get it at Walmart and you can get it where it comes with a cover, but I just leave the cover at home. So it's like having a cut off toothbrush. Then I have some gloss in there as well. And I have some to um, tooth. I have some Q-tips, you know, and uh, baby wipes, a hairbrush, a little hairbrush, a deodorant. Yes, I carry that. I know people are like, you don't need it. Whatever. It makes me feel good in the morning when I put my deodorant on. I don't care if it helps. Then I carry uh, SPF lotion. Um, just to use as a moisturizer, probably more than anything for me, but, and then I also have the Rocket Pure stuff I put on my feet at night. That's what's in there. And then I also carry, uh, my Grand Trunk hammock. I love this thing. It's so awesome. I'm about to set it up here in just a few minutes on my, um, you know, for my campsite. I just like having it because it gets me off the ground and it weighs half a pound. Yeah, so I carry it. Anyway, love it. And I, but I'm still, I like my tent. I like having a house to sleep in, but I like having my hammock too. So, so that's a luxury item, but I, I carry it. And then in addition to that, I have the straps for the hammock. And then my clothing bag, my clothing bag. And then in the clothing bag, I have, oh, here I have some dryer lint to help start a fire. I have a long sleeved polyester, thin polyester shirt just in case I need it. I have my matador blanket which can also be used to spread out. It weighs nothing. I have my hat, my, my toboggan, my fleece toboggan, and then I have my owl socks. So that's, that's, I just use those to sleep in. And then I have some fleece. Hi y'all, editing Gretchen here. Unfortunately it seems like when I was out filming at my campsite the camera cut off and didn't actually film a portion of the video. So I just thought I would take a moment and just show you the items that are actually missing from this video. It cut off right where I was talking about that in my clothing bag, I have a pair of fleece gloves. So that's what I have here. Also was in my clothing bag is a buff. And I use this for various things when I'm backpacking. Um, for this trip, I actually ended up using it like, like a neck warmer, just a way to help keep me warmer when I was sleeping. I also carry in my clothing bag two extra pairs of socks and it really does depend on the hike on how many extra pairs of socks I carry but I usually carry a minimum of two extra pairs of socks that's in addition to the socks that I sleep in and the ones I'm wearing. So I'll carry at least two. On this trip I had two pairs of socks. Sometimes I'll have three. Just depends on how many water crossings I think I'm going to have or if there's going to be snow or something like that. And then also in my clothing bag I had some hand warmers and uh, I actually did end up using those that night to help keep my hands warm for a while and then I switched out and kept put them in my socks to help keep my feet warm. So that is what I carried in my clothing bag. Some other items that got left out as well was I carried a, a cocoon 
mummy liner. This is microfiber and I carried it to use inside of my sleeping bag to help add additional warmth while I slept. So I, I, I carry this in the winter months too. And then another item that I carry in case I come across ice along the trail and I need a way to be able to hike across it safely, I carry micro spikes. Um, just, you know, in the winter months, I carry that. So I have that in my pack. And then one more item, which I don't think is mentioned in this video, is I did have bear spray with me as well. And I always carry that, particularly when I sell a backpack. Now I'm going to take you back to the video and I think it left off talking about my sleeping pad. It's the Neo Air Max Therm. I think is what it's called. It's the, it's the regular. But it's rated 5.4 uh, R value. So I used it once. It's amazing. I love this thing. And it's rectangular. So I can, I'm a side sleeper. It helps. And then I have my sleeping bag, which is the Enlighten Equipment. I can't remember which one it is. I don't think it's the Enigma. I want to say it's the other one. It's the one where it's uh, just a quilt and it opens up. And it's 20 degrees. So I have that. And then inside of this, I have my pillow, which is the Eros Pillow Premium Large. Love that thing. It's awesome. Pretty new. And then I just have a pillow cover. And that just helps protect the pillow. And then, is that it? Nope. <laughs> oh, and then I have uh, the Platypus. This is four liter. And you just fill it with dirty water hanging on a tree. And it's just so much easier to get water. I always carry it if it's more than just me. Sometimes when it's just when I'm by myself, I might just have this. But I did go ahead and bring it just, just because. <laughs> I just did. So I think that, that is everything. That is what I carry for when I sell a backpack. That's all of my stuff. Now, like I said, when it's warmer months, some of this stuff I don't carry. So um, I have more things for this hike because because you know it's colder and you know so you need to have you know extra things to keep warm so i am uh, by no means am i an ultra light backpacker i would probably say lightweight though because i have dialed most of my gear in to be pretty lightweight gear um so my pack probably weighs around 20 25 pounds with everything food water uh, tent everything so i'm fine with that i don't um I like my comfort. Oops, and one thing I forgot to show y'all is I actually, this isn't in my pack, I carry it around me, but this is my z Packs multi-pack. I love this thing, it's like a little fanny pack. I wear it around my hips. And in this, I carry my camera, which is my Sony, and then I have my GoPro in there, and then I have my extra batteries. And then, this stuff isn't usually in here, but it's in here right now, because I just threw it in here. But it's my wallet with my credit cards, my sunglasses, my car keys. <laughs> A pack of gum, well, just in case. Those usually go in my daddy bag. So I also carry that, and then I'll carry usually, depending on the hike, either at least one trekking pole, sometimes two. If, I, if I'm going to have water crossings, then I'll carry two. But if I'm not, then I usually just carry one, just because I, I don't know. That's just that's my personal preference. I recommend that if you're not a regular backpacker, carry two two hiking poles. It's always better. Anyway, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching and until the next time happy trails and happy hiking